everybody, welcome back to another Heavy Cargo Simulator video. And we're back in the truck again, um, and we've got, well, a silo. Some sort of storage silo we're going to be taking down south to down this sort of dusky sunrise slash sunset journey. And, you can see that we have got the wheel plugged in, and I can confirm the Thrustmaster T150 does work with this game. So I'd assume it's going to be the same wheels that worked with on the road truck simulator which work on this game. So uh, let's get that off and uh, let's get driving. Let's just get the pedals out. There we go. Right, yeah, there we go. And yeah, it's still quite stiff to do everything, but yeah. So there is wheel support for this game. Uh, this is PS5 Thrustmaster T150 does work. lights on as well. Oh, okay, that's good. So you get those controls. What else do we get? Skip on. What else? What do they do? Okay, they're doing anything. That's the map. That's that. That's a screenshot. That's that. We got the lights. Oh, there we go. There's that. So we'll put the beacons on. Uh, headlights. Fog lights. I don't know if they actually work properly doing that. What's the headlights on here? Uh, what are the headlights? Lights. There we go. Alright, no, you're way in, you know what? Yeah, you're way in, mate. Just about, but there we go. Okay, we're off. In our journey. Cool. But yeah, steering will work. So that's good. That's the main test. And uh, it has. Oh, hang on. It has passed that you can use the steering wheel on this game. I think you can also hide the wheel as well. Oh, hang on. There's the buttons to for center in the camera, etc. That's left, right, and center on the. or up on the D pad. So it's just resistance, I'm not getting any force feedback. So that's when you turn the wheel, you feel a bit of like, oh, okay. There's no sort of bumpiness to it. Round we go. Let's hop out, let's just stop in the middle of the road as you do. Stop, jump out, we'll get a little, uh, a little shot of our, uh, of our truck. As we hold up all the traffic on this pretty major looking road but it's worth it all right it's worth it there we go there we go Gruber let's go turn that on again all right let's go cool so we've got 7.8 kilometers to the drop off uh, this was a slightly longer drive and I think it was all sort of wordy roads as well so there's no sort of autobahn on this So very much like in the first look, the mission we did on there. Just sort of little, little roads, little country roads. Well, that's all right. I don't think sunrise or sunset. I'm going to say probably sun, no, because we're going south. So that's to the east. And yeah, it must be sunrise, early morning. It's just a complete assumption though, but yeah, I assume early morning. Cool. So we got over the autobahn here. There's no sort of uh, junction here. 6.9 kilometres, and it is real scale, or at least I believe it's real scale, because it goes down pretty slow. So we actually have got a real distance of 6.8 kilometres, which is about. That's going to be three miles or so, three, four miles. Come on, track. Let's drive on up there a bit. So, quite a way to be honest. Well, it's only still 10, 15 minutes. But it sounds like a lot like three to four miles. So he did the speed limit only just. 
is it actually scores us on that if you go over the speed limit it will take away points at the end so you've sort of got to be if, it depends how much you care about points so you've sort of got to be uh, cautious the best you can be There we go. Cool. Yeah, it's a funny old game, this one. Uh, thanks to Eversoft 4 giving us access to it. Um, and as you guys are seeing, this video should be coming out today if this comes out on the 9th. Um, but yeah, it's a funny old game because I think they were working on. It was the same developers that Toctronics. They were working on On the Road Truck Simulator. And then sort of halfway through, you know, sort of six months into that, they were like, right, we're going to work on Heavy Cargo Simulator now. Um, well, and that's sort of how it played out. It was quite sort of bizarre that, you know, they sort of made it on the road trucks in, which had some good potential. And then just been like, right, you know, let's just make a whole new game. Which I'd actually possibly go to say that on the road is probably the better trucking game out of this and that because you get the multi drop you've got all the different types of trucks you sort of manage the company um, but I suppose this gives you a sort of different type of gameplay but this is more more for the gamer uh, yeah you go from A to B you've got to get as many points as you can you get ratings at the end as on the road you're sort of well simulating uh, company management and well truck driving right four and a half kilometers now to the drop off so we're sort of working our way up the look at this here it's quite high up don't want to be going off the edge of there anytime soon if we do then that's unfortunate Bit. So far, I, I suppose it probably gets progressively harder as you go along, but this is not a tough load. It's just like a normal load. I suppose yeah, it probably does get harder as you go along. <laughs> I mean, this is fairly straightforward. Really climbing up though. I don't know, it just went up. I suppose, no, I swear it, was, I swear it went from 3.5 to 3.6. No, it must, mustn't have done. As we make our way up. But thanks all for coming in there if you are watching this far in. I know it's only been 8 minutes, but still very much appreciated. And uh, will you be getting Heavy Cargo Simulator? It's on, well, Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox. Is it something which sort of rocks your boat? I mean, it's, it's really one of those games where you'll get it, do all sort of 50, you do all the missions, and then that's it. That'll be like, right, that's done. Which I suppose is sort of, in the sense, what you do do with games, you sort of get them, complete them, and then that's it. But there's not really much sort of, you know, uh, longevity in the game unless they bring out other DLCs and stuff like that but you probably get all the missions done now you don't want to go back and repeat the same mission unless maybe you get two stars and you want three stars instead I suppose on the road you could sort of go well you know, go to all the different cities and then go from that city to that city and then or maybe go that city to that city instead there's a bit more sort of yeah, wanted to come back to it. Yeah, it will be interesting to see what happens with this game, but I, I do predict it. It will probably you know, sell you know a fair few copies because it's a trucking game, and then not really much will happen with it after that. 
I could be wrong, you might be coming back to hear this in two years or so and being like, oh, it's like the most successful trucking game the world's ever seen. But uh, that's what I sort of predict will happen. It's, you know, we'll do all right selling wise. Maybe, maybe there'll be a DLC, but then we'll sort of forget about it and something else will come out. But I mean, it's another trucking game on console, so that's good. The more trucking games, the better. And at least this one, you know, it does resemble more of a truck sim than uh, other games. With the, I mean, if you look on the PlayStation Store, you see someone on there, which I think one's called Truck Simulator, and it's like, what on earth? So this one is one of the better ones out of the ones we do have on. PlayStation. It's really it's, it's this one on the road and a truck and logistics simulator. And if you want off road trucking, you've got Snow Runner and Mud Runner and all those ones. But the sort of you know road you know on the road driving here, you've got on the road truck sim, truck and logistics, and this. But this one's a bit more similar to truck and logistics. Just over a kilometre to our drop off uh, location. Sort of working our way south into the map now. So, quite a cool uh, environment, landscape. It's quite uh, mountainous. Sort of a, fix a fictitious location within Europe. So, we're probably in Germany. So, we're sort of the more mountainous area of Germany. Base still. Pretty cool though this road. Oh, let's slow that down. We shouldn't be speeding. How dare we speed? Cool. Under a kilometre. So it would have been cool if this was Unreal Engine. We've got two trucks passing here. Oh, no, we're fine, we're fine. See, Unity just looks a bit old school. I mean, some games actually do look quite good in Unity. I think SimRail's um, Unity, and that's pretty decent. That looks alright. Right, there we go, coming up to the uh, drop-off point. But yeah, it's been a good test of the steering wheel, uh, which it is literally exactly the same as how it is in, on, on the road truck sim. So if you've got that and you've played that, um, then yeah, if you've used the word on there, it's exactly the same. I don't know what to do. I don't like the parking either. The parking's just a bit simple. It's just you don't just park in there, that's it. There's not really too much to it. They come in here, go into the box, and that's it. That's some sort of, you know, tight reversing the manoeuvres, or maybe they get harder as you go along. That's it. Get out of the truck, go to the little... And you don't even do the sign-off like you did not on the road. Like it's a little more basic. Yeah, a lot, a lot more basic. And that's it. And now we've got whatever that is, and yeah, that. That's that. <laughs> Where are we on the map now? We are... Oh, down here, so we're sort of... Yeah, sort of halfway down the map. Um, well, that's going to be it from me. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. That was another heavy cargo simulator video. Uh, links can be found in all the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Half that, thanks all for coming in. Hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.